So, yeah, we're back with more Shuffle, and, um, really, the, the, the choice is just being thrown at me. That's just, that's just wrong. So, we got three choices here. Well, four if you count others. <coughs> we have mm, Shia, Rina, and Kaide. And, of course, the other. And these two want to know my choice. Well, since I'm on one... Since I'm on one path for the time being... And a good thing I made saves for those choices. <sighs> Like I said, I'm going. To, I'm just going to do the same thing, but with the other choices. But since I'm on the route, that kind of got me started. Let's just go with if I had a choice. Nah, no, nah, no, suppose. Again, where is the 100% orange juice bottle coming from? I'm not even playing with that cinnamon orange juice yet. It's right there. Oh, Kaede's a nine, What you want me to say, Kaede? Kaede is just too close. It might sound trite, but I don't think I can see her anything other than a childhood friend. <laughs> I quite like Monarine's reserved demeanor. I think her loving smile would be very relaxing to be around. Why am I getting two level ups in one go- mm, Never mind. This is not Neptunia, I'm telling you, man. Only because the game wants me to say yes. What are you talking about? What? How do you know? Well, I'm going to be doing a lot of thinking on the whole mess. It's all very uncertain, though. Oddly, I had a huge smile on my face as I said that. Hope and devastation. My school, I provided both extremes. The good news was I'd never be bored. And we go right into the next day, just like that. The Koyo Shopping District, otherwise known as Komorobe, Komorobe Street among locals, was established among the Verbena Academy as a shopping area for the young adults near the center of town. It was full of Verbena students during the week and the young adults who came by training over the weekend. We saw an equal turnout from both types of crowds. In addition to the many shops geared toward young adults, there were also supermarkets and stores handling food. So many locals utilized this area as well. Asa Senpai. I was stopped by someone approaching me with a cheerful stride. Her carefree and lively appearance suited Asa Senpai very well. Are you getting ingredients to bake something? As a cooking mentor for, to Kaede, her skills were exceptional. It was befitting for her to be the head of the cook team. Also, Senpai especially loved cakes, and the cakes she baked were out of this world. She would bake them at home whenever she had a chance. Possibly for that reason, she was regularly seen out shopping in this district. 
残念僕は彼派と待ち合わせ美味しいケーキ屋さん見つけたのりんちゃんはやっぱり誰かとデートなんにんとんなんてんやとてみふゆあすせっぱい。あんじゅうせいふぐらすれす。もう、りんちゃん、あいかわらずガードがかたいんだから。パンマキャラクターすびあたい。僕的意見では、あんな美人さんにもはべらせといて、いまだに彼女がいないっていうのも、立派な犯罪だと思うんだけど。シューワイナーケイバーケアーズ、the fun way! I play for what suits me, okay? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. As long as I reap the benefits. Very funny, that's not it at all. I promise you, I'm interested in women. The truth is, I'm just able to contain myself since I always see it's going crazy over girls. That overly enthusiastic passion towards women is the best negative example one could ever wish for. How about you, Asa Senpai? I never hear rumors about you. <laughs> Yep, I don't believe it clutches. So, yeah, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do it. Uh huh. 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 But she's thick! Mm. Her long blonde hair was breathtaking, along with, along with her pleasant demeanor and gentle eyes, and of course her beautiful voice too. She was, without a doubt, one of the finest girls at school. It was strange how she didn't have any crazy bodyguards. There goes that level up again. I suppose her tendency to enter delusional daydreamer mode scared people off. But in my opinion, Asa Senpai, I think you're pretty high up there too. Even when you're next to Kareha. Yes, Kareha. Japanese. It, fi it fixes your tongue every time. Even when you're next to Kareha. Senpai, you're not compared unfavorably. In fact, it's a pleasant combination. <laughs> As the Senpai's temperature appeared to rise sharply. Since she doesn't hear those things too much, her innocent reaction only added to her charm. At least that's how I felt. Nope, they don't want my they don't want my advice. Trust me. I have plenty of friends that envy me just because of how stupid how stupid my charisma is. They shall not be named, they know who they are. Yeah, I will. But I wasn't trying to flatter you. To be honest, from my point of view, I senpai wasn't a bad choice at all. Good grief! Will you please stop teasing your juniors? You said you were meeting up with Kareo Senpai, didn't you? She stuck her tongue out and smiled. Oh, that's right. It was because of this kind of behavior that people didn't consider her as a romantic interest. Yeah, let's get some tea while we're at it. Or some coffee. You know what? Iced coffee sounds good. Just a thought. Just a thought. Asa-senpai ran off ever so merrily.
I was sure it'd be a lot of fun to spend time with her. But I also sensed that it'd be very tiring. Oh, if this was the case, oh man, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I was alone again, and I started to leisurely walk down Komori B Street. As I weaved through the usual crowds, I looked around to see if I liked any of the clothes. After I browsed through a couple of stores, I decided to head back home. But in that moment, <clears throat> I suddenly froze. I saw an ordinary arcade further down the street. One of those prize catcher machines were under the eaves. There I saw a girl who stood out. In what way? There was nothing especially different about her at, all, at, at a glance, but she still made a unique impression. Her long hair was parted in the middle, framing an innocent yet strong willed face. She was petite, and her elongated ears marked her as non human. And she happened like cats. Already a plus already. Oh, fuck you, UFO cat. You can kiss my ass, okay? <laughs> just just straight, I'm just gonna say it straight out. Fuck you, UFO catcher. You is the biggest piece of shit I ever laid eyes on in Japan. And we and we got a nerve to call the crane game. Oh, fuck that. Oh, fuck that mess right there. Fuck that mess right out the ass. That, that game can go, just go straight up fuck itself. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. That, that's some bullshit right there. If I were to describe her in a word, the girl looked like a doll. She quietly stared into the prize catcher machine, which was packed with stuffed cat dolls. She was only looking at the machine without playing it. It was a truly picturesque sight. I could have stared at it for hours. I heard a familiar voice greet me and got a pat on the back. My turn around, there he was. My bad friend. Just me, or did you just utter something extremely inappropriate? What? What? Ten to forty. Hey, don't just arbitrarily decide what my preferences are. <laughs> Disclaimer, I'm not a pedophile. I'm already aware that no matter what I say to you will just be a waste of time, so go ahead and say whatever you want. Mr. What? Oh, wait, I guess there are some situations when a man must take a stand. Itsuki gently said and started pulling my fingers out of the fists I made. If only there was a way to hate a person to death. If this was a manga, I was pretty sure I'd be crying tears of blood right about now. Itsuki's line of sight suddenly changed. He looked behind me at the slightly lowered line of sight and cocked his head in puzzlement. 
に取れたみたいじゃないかえっ I turned to see what Itsuki was looking at over my shoulder and there I saw the girl grabbing my shirt Hi. That's all I'm gonna say. Is that cat's wedding? Without saying a word, she held onto my shirt and stared up at my face. Disclaimer: I am still not a pedophile. What? 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 She gave me no response. She kept holding onto my shirt and staring up at me. Hi. 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 Eh. Oh. Mm. I suddenly heard a tiny voice come out from her mouth. Mm. She called me a second time. That's when I realized that she was trying to verify my name. You know, if every female just called me by my actual name, I would feel the same way Red's feeling right now. Like, what? <laughs> I really would. I'd be like, hi. How? How you do doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go now. The things to do, uh, maybe, 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 you know, for the things to do. People to see and all that dance. Uh, let's have lunch sometime? Maybe some iced coffee? Tea? Subway? Um, yeah, my name is Rin, but... Do you know nerding? The moment I answered, the girl swayed violently forward and she clung to me in a big hug. Ah, Rin, you're not a child. Oh, shut up! This isn't the time for jokes like that. I would be creeped out right about now. I got to go now. How how me? Me. You're not helping! Don't blankly say things that are easily misunderstood by others. Hey, uh, you do, you do, you do, do you mind? She hugged me even tighter. It was like a lost child clinging onto my, a mother's, clinging onto a mother she was finally reunited with. That kind of scene. Fortunately, shall I say, Narine was in the middle of sweeping up in front of the Kings of Devil's Mansion. The princess of the Demon Realm was clearing with a broom. What was clean with a broom? Let me read that again. The princess of the Demon Realm was cleaning with a broom. I felt like I was witnessing something absurd, but I shouldn't be surprised after all that had been going on. I might. Nene stopped sweeping and tilted her head to the side to look at me with concern. I wouldn't say exhausted, more like possessed. Nene followed my troubled line of sight down to my feet. She then finally noticed the girl with pigtails grabbing my shirt. Nina-chan? 
Yep. She raised her voice in surprise. A clone? So, Makai to Shinkai to a Kyoru Kushte Skriyaneta, Saikyo no Mario Kuno Mochimish. So, you are going to be Primla. That's her. I looked at the girl quietly drinking her juice next to me. She just looked like a typical demon to me. Dude, that's cool. We were all gathered in the Fuyo family living room. He had invited Narene and the old devil king to discuss the girl who had followed me home. <laughs> Oh, that's just lovely. I'm not going to even ask why you guys did this. I'm really not. She's a, walk she's a walking nuclear weapon. <sighs> she's zero, zero, seven. No, 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 I take that back. Not, 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 zero, zero, seven. No, that's Great Britain. Zero, zero, six. Albert Heinrich. Yes, that's Cyborg zero, zero, six. She's eco friendly and. Oh god, what the hell are you. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> the old Devil King smiled with content and took the teapot to fill my cup. Wait, why are you, the Devil King, serving me? Oh, okay. That's the first I've ever heard chores being called that. Chores is a hobby. Wow, that, that that's something new. That that's really something new. That just blows my mind. Yeah. <laughs> what the? F Are you sure you're really the king of devils? I could think of another group of worshippers who number had this crease for sure. Could this actually be contributing to world peace? They forbid you to do housework. And you do chores on holidays. What the hell? At the very least, I understood that humans were completely wrong about the demon realm. Makai, it's a very strange place. It is not as it is not as what Gona guy would show you. No, it's totally weird. I was sure there were more truths to be revealed, so I figured I should let go of all preconceived notions to avoid any more damage. But why did they choose to make clones? Oh. 
人工生命体は全部で3体作られた皆違った方法によるものではあったんだけれど過去の2体はその強大な魔力を制御しきれずに終わってしまった In other words, they died. Old Devil King and even there, and they had a grave expression on their faces. Of course. I couldn't tell if Primla was listening to the old Devil King or not. She just ate her cake with a blank face. She looked like a typical child to me. When the old Devil King called her name, Primula glanced up slightly. Without pausing in her eating the cake, she spoke with emotion, with a monotonous voice. The girl then aimed her peaceful eyes at me. Only my face was reflected in her seemingly lonely purple eyes. You're scaring a kitty, I just want to say. What kind of stories? Nene looked somewhat sad as she quietly addressed little Prima. Prima maintained her facial expression and continued to curiously stare at me expressionlessly. So basically, she became interested in me because Nerone would talk about me all the time. <clears throat> the overly fond father reacted to Nerone's concerned look with a gentle smile. <laughs> The old devil king glanced over at Primula for confirmation, but Primula shook her head in disagreement. I'm convinced that's an actual cat. Eh? Primula said with an emotionless voice and lightly grabbed my shirt. The strong grip might have been the first instance when she expressed emotion. Observing Primula's behavior, the old devil king folded his arms to think. But that was only for a few seconds. He found an answer rather quickly. What are you offering, sir? What? That's just cruel. This turn of events could have been planning it all along. Unfortunately, I'm staying here for free myself, so I can't make that call. I directed an awkward look at Kaede. She smiled the moment she noticed. <laughs> that was the exact answer I expected to hear. Kaede. Couldn't you have thought about it for a few seconds at least? So what now?
She already asked. She already wanted it. Okay, fine. We'll take you in. Nonetheless, with such definite approval, I couldn't find a reason to turn down her request. Plus, sending her back after knowing she came here just to see me would surely be bad form. I understand. I'll take her in. After a moment of hesitation, I nodded my head. Expressionless but clear, she was the same as she'd been since we met. But maybe it was just me. I thought I just heard a bit of delight in her voice. The old Devil King and Nene left after the sky turned red from the sunset. That, that's fine, Daryl. Mm -hmm. She said as she skillfully poured more tea into my cup. Grimla watched Kaede's hands at work with the most curious eyes. Well, anyway. Let's try this again. I'm Rin Tsushimi. Good to have you here. At my introduction, Kaede took her hand off the pot and smiled at Primula. Hello, Kaede. I'm adjusting my volume just because I'm doing these parts pretty late. Primula looked at Kaida. <laughs> the revolver went off. <laughs> please, reload. Please, reload. Reload. <laughs> Shoot outside the screen. <laughs> Absolutely not. Why do you look so happy? I strongly felt that this wasn't just a matter of serving. Was that just me? Expressionless, of course. But I thought I sensed some bashfulness as she said that. Maybe this girl actually had feelings. It was just a matter of her learning how to express them. Yeah, likewise. I responded and put my hand on top of her head, her tiny head. You get head pat. Her seemingly expressionless face looked as if she was a little happy. The Fuyo family as well as the Sushimi family. On this day, we welcomed our new family member. And we go into Monday again. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop here. And plop a save like so. And when we come back, more shuffle. Because I know this is going to get crazy. So, stay, stay tuned. My tongue will not get shuffled, but this story will continue right after this.